In this video, we're putting Pikeville, Tennessee on the map because it's the only town in America that's got a burnout pad right on Main Street in front of the courthouse. And we're going to the grand opening of this burnout pad at Pikeville's monthly cruise in where three Pikeville natives are going to break this thing in right. Chances are pretty likely that you've never even heard of Pikeville, Tennessee until now. And that's because it's a really small town. There's a population of about 2,200 people there. So this is a very rural area and it's a beautiful area. It's right in between two mountains. It's the Sequatchie Valley. It is just a beautiful spot. And this town is kind of locked in time. There's a bunch of historic houses and a really beautiful historic downtown area. And they have revitalized this area to be a really nice spot for events like a monthly cruise in that has a concert and lots of other attractions right there in the middle of town. The cruise in happens once a month through spring, summer, and fall, and it's always on the first Saturday of the month. So this past Saturday, I went to the event. It was on June the 5th, and this was the grand opening of the burnout pad that was poured right in front of the courthouse on Main Street. And amazingly, this got passed through city council and it was really the idea of the city mayor, Philip Cagle, and he's a longtime friend of my dad's, and we've known this guy forever, and he's always been a car guy. He's been crazy about cars forever. We're the only place in the country that has a burnout pad in the middle of their town in front of their courthouse. He has a plan to actually expand this idea and have a much larger burnout pad at the county fairgrounds. So. This is just step one in the process of growing this town into something that's known for its burnouts. You know, there was kind of a plan to this. It wasn't just a free for all. It wasn't just, you know, whoever wants to do a burnout. This is sort of an invitation only for this inaugural event. So that allowed the mayor to pick people who knew what they were doing and had cars that would get people's attention. You know, it was kind of a mixture of being able to control the environment so that safety precautions could be upheld without having to put concrete barriers and tie down straps and all that kind of stuff into place. He knew that these cars and these drivers would do the best they could to put on a show without endangering anybody. The very first burnout contestant coming up here, Denny George, you might remember that name because I did a full feature on Denny's collection of cars that he's been working on for 50 years. Next up is Michael Walker, and he's another Pikeville native. He's got a big block Camaro, and this thing absolutely pounds the ground. And he races mostly in no prep races, and he came out here and put some old used drag radials on here just for the burnout purposes, and he put on a show. Listen to this thing scream.
To finish off the grand opening, Mary Sue Walker came out here in her little Chevy 2. And this thing, it's a street car, but it's got a pretty strong little small block in it. And she put it to the test right here. This thing sounded good and did a great burnout. Hey, Jimmy just reminded me of something. We used to do that on Saturday night down here. Bo Nipper took us to jail for it, didn't he? <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy's an old car guy from way back too. That's just great to see you here. How about this? Give a big hand to our Main Street Committee. Gina and all the folks that work so hard to get this stuff. You know, if you knew how much the city had in this pad, you would not believe it. It ain't costing nothing to maintain. It didn't take no tax money. It's strictly lots of guys that wanted to put in some hard labor. They started at 7 o'clock and they went home at 2 o'clock in the morning. And I appreciate those guys that did that. Toward the end of the night, I had the opportunity to go up in a bucket truck to get some pictures of the crowd and of the awesome turnout of cars and just downtown in general. And this really gives you the sense of this town's layout. It's just a neat little spot. It's not big. It's not highly populated. It's just a cool, small town in Tennessee. And, you know, now it's going to be known for its burnouts. And that is just amazing to me that, you know, a, a mayor would go through the effort to do this, put this through city council, get it passed, and actually make this thing happen. You know, it was a pretty big deal for this little bitty town, and I'm hoping that it continues to grow and it continues to help this town's economy and help everything about it, help bring more people to it, and uh, I think it's going to do that. It's already doing that, but I think that this is just going to continue to grow and get more and more popular, and as the events grow, you know, more safety precautions are going to be put in place, especially as the general public is allowed to come in and do burnouts because the mayor and all the city council and all the people who chip in and put this event together, they obviously don't want anybody to get hurt and they want this to be entertaining. So next month's event is going to be on Saturday, July the 3rd, and it's going to be an Independence Day celebration. There's going to be fireworks, live music, food vendors, a cruise in, and obviously more burnouts. So if you're in the area, you got to check this out. If not, look for more action from Pikeville, Tennessee on my YouTube channel. I plan on shooting more videos of this place, especially as this burnout deal grows and gets bigger and more entertaining. I'm going to keep bringing you footage from this event and others in the future. So thank you for watching this. We'll see you next week. Let's go. Wow. <laughs>